everyone and hi once again YouTube. This is Mia, your daily broadcaster signing on to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now guys, for this video, we'll talk about the EOS price analysis and of course with other tokens. But uh, before we go to the article, I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Q program. Now guys, Initiative Q is an attempt by ex PayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. The system uses its own currency called a Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating queues for free to people like you who sign up now. Now guys, the amount drops later as more and more people join so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Signing up to Initiative Q is completely free and they only ask for your name and an email address. There's nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So if you missed um, getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you wouldn't want to miss this one. Here is your special limited invite link in the description below. Um, the link shown will soon stop working once we are out of the free invite so guys click it now and don't get left behind with this one all right so okay now let's go to the article here for the price analysis for the day november 12th now this is for other crypto oh, currencies as well such as bitcoin ethereum ripple bitcoin cash eos stellar litecoin cardano and monero and of course tron here. Nikolai Stroronsky, CEO and co-founder of Revolut Limited, a digital banking provider with a user base of 2 million, has said at the Web Summit 2018 in Lisbon that large institutions are showing little interest in di digital assets. Any new technology takes time to catch up and become relevant to everyone. Even the internet took time to grow to its current scale. Consensus founder Joseph Lubin has said that blockchain might take a little longer than the internet to reach mass adoption. Venture capital investor Tim Draper, in a recent panel discussion, reiterated his previous call that Bitcoin will reach the price of $250,000 per coin by 2022 or 2020. He believes that with mass adoption of Bitcoin, people are likely to switch from fiat currencies that are bound by specific geography to cryptocurrencies, which in turn have universal acceptance. The recently concluded U.S. midterm elections have seen a number of pro-blockchain politicians being elected to office, which is a positive sign. Though the market movements is slow now, the future looks encouraging for the nascent asset class. Here. Bitcoin to USD. The dip below $6,400 was purchased on November 11, which shows buying at lower levels. However, Bitcoin is facing overhead resistance from both moving averages, which indicates that buying dries up at higher levels. Positional traders should avoid trading when the range is tight and shrinking. A large, well-defined range provides an opportunity to buy low and sell high. However, the Bitcoin to USD pair is not allowing you such an opportunity. If the bulls push the price at $6,831.99, the digital currency is likely to invite short covering, propelling the price further to $7,400 and above that to $8,400. On the other hand, if the bears break below the critical support of $5,900, it might result in panic selling, dragging the pair to the lower levels at $5,000 to $5,450. 
Therefore, traders can keep the stop loss on their long positions at $5,900. The next that we have here is Ethereum to USD. Here. Ethereum is not showing any signs of a trend. The investors aren't looking to sell at the current levels, and the new money doesn't want to enter until there is a trend. So the price, the moving averages, and the RSI are all flat. The first sign of a trend will be when the Ethereum to USD pair escapes the tight range of $188.35 to $249.93. An upside breakout will indicate that the bulls have the upper hand and a new uptrend is likely. A breakdown of the average will indicate that panic has gripped the owners and they are dumping their holdings. We recommend traders wait for a breakout of $249.93 before initiating any long positions. Aggressive positions can also be taken if the support at $188.35 sees strong buying by the pools. Until then, we suggest traders remain in the sidelines. Next that we have here is Ripple or Ripple to USD. Ripple is finding support to just above the moving averages, which is a positive sign. The moving averages continue to slope up with the RSI in the positive territory. This confirms that the bulls have the upper hand in the short term. If the bulls succeed in breaking out of $0.565, a rally to the first target objective of $0.625 is likely, where traders can book partial profits. If this level is crossed, the rally can extend to $0.7644. Our bullish assumption will be invalidated if the Ripple to USD pair turns around and breaks below the moving averages. In such a case, a drop of $0.42646 followed by a half to or followed by a fall to $0.37185 is preferable. Therefore, traders can trail their stop loss higher to $0.45. Bitcoin Cash to USD Bitcoin Cash has pulled back from the overhead resistance at $660.0753. We, we anticipate a strong support between the 20-day EMA and the $500, which is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the recent rally. The bounce from the current level might retest 660. 0753 dollars once again a breakout will start a new uptrend whereas a failure will keep the virtual currency in a large range of 408.0182 dollars to 660.0753 dollars contrary to our opinion if the Bitcoin Cash to USD pair breaks 500 dollars the upward move will lose strength the next support level on the downside is $460, and if this level breaks, a complete retracement of the present rally to $410.2768 is probable. Therefore, traders who have partial positions left can keep a stop loss of about $480, which is just below the 50-day SMA. The next that we have here is this one, EOS to USD. EOS has been trading close to the midpoint of the range for the past three days, but moving averages has flattened out and are close to each other. The RSI is also close to the 50 levels, which shows equilibrium between demand and supply. We won't be able to find any new trades for as long as the EOS to USD pair stays between $5 and $6. If it breaks out of this tight range, 
it will increase the probability of a rally to $6.8299 and a reversal will be confirmed when the price sustains above $6.8299 for three days. Now, on the other hand, a break below $5 can result in a dip to the next support at $4.49 below which a retest of the $3.8723 will be on the cards. Therefore, traders who own long positions can keep a stop loss at $4.9 on their existing positions. Here. Stellar to USD Stellar is showing promise as it has formed an ascending channel. It triggered our buy suggested in the November 7 analysis. It is currently facing resistance at the resistance line of the channel, yet it remains positive because both moving averages are sloping up. Hence, any pullback is likely to find support at the trend line and below that at the 20-day EMA. If the stellar TUSD pair breaks above the channel, it is likely to pick up momentum break out of the immediate resistance at $0.304 and rally towards its target objective at $0.36. For now, we suggest keeping the stops at $0.2. We shall watch for a couple of days and then raise the stops higher. Here. Litecoin to USD Litecoin continues to slide after turning down from the downtrend line of the descending triangle. It might retest the critical support zone at $47.246 to $49.466 once again. This zone can or has held on four previous occasions. Hence, we anticipate this support to hold once again. Nevertheless, traders left with partial long positions on our recommendations can close them at $50. If the bulls succeed in holding the critical support zone and show signs of a rebound, or rebound, we might suggest to go long again. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bears sink at Litecoin to USD pair below $47.246. In such a case, the downtrend will resume and can push prices to the next support levels at $40 and $32. Here, Cardano to USD. For the past three days, Cardano has been trading close to the moving averages that have flattened out. The RSI is also just above the 50 levels. All these show a balance between the buyers and the sellers. A new trend will start on a breakout of $0.09425 or on a breakdown of the support at $0.060105. Between these two levels, random and volatile price action is likely to continue. The first sign of strength will be if the Cardano to USD pair sustains above $0.082207. However, <clears throat> we suggest traders wait for a new uptrend to start before initiating any long positions. Monero to USD. Now, the attempt to pull back from close to $102.6 is facing resistance at the 20-day EMA. If the bulls fail to scale the moving averages or average, Monero is likely to drop the bottom of the tight range at $100.453. The XMR or Monero to USD pair has successfully held the support at $100.453 on a closing basis on three previous occasions. Therefore, we expect it to offer a strong support this time too. However, contrary to our expectations, if the buyers break below the range, a fall to the critical support at $81 is probable. On the upside, 
The bulls will gain strength if the price stays above the $112.44. We shall turn positive above $128.65. Currently, the virtual currency is not showing any reliable patterns that can be traded. Here. Tron to USD. The range in Tron has been shrinking. It is currently trading between $0.02134798 and $0.02517782. The RSI has also been moving between the levels of 40 and 60. If the bulls defend $0.02134798, the Tron to USD pair will again attempt to move to the top of the range at $0.02517782. However, if the bears break below the bottom of the tight range, a drop to the critical support at $0.0183 is probable. A break below the support will resume the downtrend. We shall turn positive on the digital currency on a breakout and close above $0.03. Until then, we suggest traders remain on the sidelines. Alright guys, so that's it. So this is an article featuring our favorite cryptos with their price analysis for the day November 12. So guys, um, what can you say about these articles and on the status of our favorite crypto? Share with us your opinions in our comment section below. And of course guys, I would like to invite you all to subscribe to our newsletter which you can receive to your uh, in your email a day ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. Simply by going to the website here preferredcurrency.news now guys once you're in the website all you just have to do is go down and click on the link that says paypal where you can pay 15 us dollars um per month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at coinbase for only 180 dollars per year with your favorite crypto handled by coinbase and after you do that you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead for broadcast here on youtube all right guys so that's it for this video now all of the information provided here is for your news review and educational entertainment regarding blockchain and should not be taken as financial advices because here um we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we provided for you to make decisions for yourself now guys this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day all right so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up there and subscribe to our channel for more updates this is once again mia your daily friendly broadcaster signing off and i'll see you tomorrow guys with another video bye